Coming up this morning on Cotton Kids, something very funny. But before that, Chakarama. <laughs> Chakarama feeling. It's five to seven. It's TV heaven. It's a show which starts at five to seven. Thanks for tuning in and watching TV heaven. Give it a go. Twenty viewers can't be wrong. Oh, they've all changed the channel since you started this song. It's the show that sounds better than Robert Palmer. It's the show that's more tasty than a big banana. It's the show that's got more money than a costume drama. It's the number one show. It's Chakarama. Right now, you're watching the best show on TV. You just tuned in at a bad time. Now I'm feeling a bit off colour. I think I've got a funny tummy. I take my wife out every night. The only trouble is she keeps coming back. <laughs> Today's dictionary definition is the word kipper. A kipper is a fish which sleeps a lot. Do you want me to come in there and sort you out? Get on with the show! No! Who does he think he is? Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Chucky's no fool. But can you guess what Chucky's eating for breakfast today? What's that? An egg? What's that smell? Ah, jeez! Is that a delicious biscuit? Chuck certainly won't be going hungry before lunchtime. Very clever, Chuck. Welcome back, Chuckoholics, to Chuckorama. Oh no, Mr. Smedley, the man who lives upstairs, has woken up again. <laughs> The good news is, I'm on a baked beans diet. The bad news is, all he's lost is five friends. <laughs> the good news is, last night I slept like a baby. The bad news is, he kept waking up and crying. <laughs> the bad news is, a lorry load of wigs has been stolen in Manchester. The good news is, the police are combing the area. <laughs> Right now, we'd like to apologise to viewers living in East Anglia. We're sorry you're living in East Anglia. Still to come on the nation's number one breakfast show today, we have Name That Tuna and The Talentless Contest. Don't go flipping, I'll be right back. <laughs> We're back in uh, 30 seconds. What a load of rubbish. Johnny Vaughan does not have to put up with this. Woody! Woody the cameraman! Oh, Where are you? Oh, oh Woody? Chuck. I'm so tired. Oh, why are you so tired? What's wrong? Oh, well, me and my wife, we had this agreement that we never go to sleep angry with each other. Yeah, well, why are you tired then? We've been awake now for nearly six months. Oh, <laughs> that won't do, Woody. Oh, that won't do. Five, four, oh, Woody. Three, two, oh, Woody, Woody. One. Oh, dear. <laughs> Welcome back, Chuckoholics, to Chuckorama. Oh, I haven't eaten breakfast yet and I'm so hungry. I've got to get some food, but I can't just walk out halfway through the show. Noel Edmonds would never do that. What if someone notices? Oh, of course they won't. Come on. Good morning, young sir. And what would them tickle your fancy then? Can you give me what the Queen drinks? But what does she drink? Royal tea. No, I bet that dish in Noel Edmonds is never like this. If you're like Chuck, you just can't remember a thing. Well, that's why we've invented this new super information retaining device. With this bargain, you can write down whatever you want to remember. 72 amazing blank pages for just £812. And that's not all. Send now and we'll give you a super pencil absolutely free. It's a great bargain that's not to be missed. Please allow 30 years for delivery. Now it's time for the part of the show when we use Chaco Cam to pick out which member of the crew is going to play Name That Tuna today. So, 
Chuck O'Cam, choose the crooner who's going to play Name That Tuna. All you have to do is guess the Robbie Williams song sung by that crooner when he tucks into a tin of tuna. <laughs> Thank you, crooner. Name that tuna. <laughs> we interrupt this program to bring you this important message. I'm actually a deep voiced woman. Here we are outside Chuckling Studios to witness the Chucks and Eclipse, a once in a lifetime experience. And here it comes in five. five. Four, three, two, one! Where do you put your clothes back on? Oh, I don't know how he gets away with it! Look, it's Noel Edmonds! Wow, that was amazing! No, no, Chuck, no, that wasn't the eclipse, Chuck. I just forgot to pay the electricity bill. <sighs> Welcome back, Chuckoholics, to Chuckorama! <laughs> Oh no, Mr. Smelly, the man who lives upstairs, has woken up again. No, it wasn't like that in my day. Oh, you stop mucking around. It's the Colton Kids director. That's enough about me. Get on with the show. Right now, it's the end of the show, and if we don't go, we can't come back. <laughs> no! I don't know how he gets away with it. That sound can only mean one thing. It's time to find... a talentless contestant. One man on a mission from a bad-tempered director. Get away the shark! His task, to find the most untalented people imaginable. Oh no, Chuck, I'm busy. Find someone else. Today's contestant is 21-year-old again. No! Maggie Goldmerang! Pick me, and I'll really do something little. <laughs> Contestant number two is eight-year-old Sam Wedge. Good luck! Oh, and contestants from the field, Glenn Carroll and Becky Overton. Choose ours and you really won't be disappointed. Oh, it's make your mind up time, so let's not linger. Carlton Kids Director, point your finger. It's you! Yeah. I'm Glenn. This is my glamorous assistant, Becky. And today, I'm going to make balloon animals. Ooh. What a load of rubbish. It's hotter than Noel Edmonds. Oh, it's hotter than hot cross buns. Don't be silly, they're not hot. They are when they're made by my mum. It's the end of the show. So let's put out this burning flame. It may not be any good, oh, but no one is to blame. The man upstairs has woken up. He prefers to be called Mr. Smedley. We've even had a chance to sing you this song. I want you to do a medley. With a number one show, it's like watching TV heaven. Oh, does that mean I have to come back tomorrow? Yes, a fight to seven. There's nothing like a good show. And that was nothing like a good show. That was not really old. Oh, Woody, Woody, oh, dear. <laughs>